Okay, so we have another Cartesian equation, and we want to write it as a polar equation. But we're going to make life a little bit easier here. Uh, the x squared plus y squared, that's just r squared. Remember, we have that statement that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So we can just replace that. And then we can say 6 times, um, and then y is equal to r sine theta. So 6r sine theta. So now if we take that, um, it's quadratic, so we can say r squared minus 6r sine theta equals 0, factor out the r, So you get r equals 0. Well, r equals 0, that's not a very exciting uh, graph. <laughs> it's just one point. It would be the origin. So this would be like that point right there in the middle. Um, and the other one would say r equals 6 sine theta. So I'm talking about setting this to 0 and setting this factor to 0. OK. Now, for r6 sine theta, we could do a table of values. We could pick some thetas that we know. Um, 0, pi over 2, uh, pi, I'm going to lose my grid here, um, 3 pi over 2, and that'll be enough. Okay, and then we can say, well, what's the sine of those angles? Well, the sine of 0 is 0, pi over 2 is 1, uh, pi is 0, 3 pi over 2 is negative 1, and then if we go a complete circle, 2 pi, we're back to 0 again. Okay, but remember, we want to find 6 sine, so this is my theta, 6 sine theta. So 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 1, 0, negative 6, and 0. Now let's look at what happens then on the grid. So if we're not rotating, if we're just at the polar axis, and we go out 0 degrees, then we have that point that we already have there. So I'll just put it right there. Then if we go pi over 2, and we go 6, so i got to count 6 circles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's going to be up there at the top. Let me scroll a little bit so it fits. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right there. And then our next one, is uh, pi, so rotate over to pi, but don't go any place. So that'll be 0. It's going to be pi 0. It's going to be there again. And then um, we've got 3 pi over 2, which is negative 6. So 3 pi over 2, negative 6. So that's going to be, I didn't go in the negative direction. 3 pi over 2 would be like rotating all the way over to here. But then you have to go in the negative direction, so you're back to that point there. And then we have 2 pi, so go all the way around, but don't go any place, so it's going to be right there. And so it turns out we only have these two points. You could find more with a table of values, you know, more uh, values for theta. But it's going to be a circle, and it's going to look, well, something like that. Now, you could do the same thing on a rectangular coordinate system. There's a way to take this, complete the square, and get it in the form for a circle centered somewhere other than the origin. Um, but we didn't cover that in this particular course. You may have seen it in another, another course.